So now I want to get to the Rebecca Wilhoit. That's how you say to pronounce her last name yep. situation. Um, you know, I want to kind of know, like, how did you guys is like paths get crossed in the first place? Mm-hmm. And then we've got the the infamous gas tank video. And yep. we'll pull that up after you give a little bit of context and, and you yeah. won't be able to hear it, but you made it. So, you know what it what it yeah. entails. And then I've we'll, we'll talk lot. about it. <laughs> yeah. Um, funny thing before I even continue, because um, I, I got a lot of people like talking and like yelling at me about how Biden gas prices, blah, 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 after this. And mm-hmm. funny thing, um, TYT, a sir on TYT, uh, Rebel HQ, they picked up my video. And they made a video about it, like basically going through everything that I said and was talking about how I was actually right because like OPEC and everything has much more of a effect on gas prices than like Biden did or something like that. But that's, that's a whole crazy. other thing. It was super, super cool to cool. see. That's awesome, it, man. Congrats. It was ridiculous. People were like, oh, they did the video. And I was like, okay. But um, basically, I had never heard about her content before. Before uh, someone added me in a video where she's like at a gas station. Rebecca's like at a gas station and she's like, oh... Thanks to Joe Biden, because she's paying like 70 something dollars for gas. And I was like, dude, Joe Biden just became president. Why are they already doing this? So I was just going to make a video. I think I, it was funny because I, I think I started by recording a basic video where I was sitting in the bed just being like, actually, no, because blah, blah, blah. But then I was like, let me take this a step further. Let me find exactly what car she's driving, how many, how much gas it takes, like everything just from like looking in the video. I was like, okay, I want to be like super like tedious about it. So I found that all that stuff or whatever and basically broke down like, no, you're paying 70 something dollars for gas because your car is horrible with fuel economy um, Mm -hmm. and it takes a lot of gas to fill up. And Joe Biden hasn't done anything in the first like 10 days in office to spike your gas prices. So you probably shouldn't be saying thanks to Joe Biden. And that video was doing well. And then it started doing really well. And then it exploded and was my most viral video that I've ever made to this point. And it had like a news article on it and was picked up by Rebel HQ and everything. And it was super crazy. That's insane. Um, and immediately after that video, she didn't do anything. I didn't hear from her for a week afterwards. Um, and then she came back and she made a response video where she points out that, um, hey, I was gone for a week because I was banned or whatever. So I was like, okay, whatever. And she's like, oh, I wasn't driving. A, I think I said it was a Pathfinder, the car that she was driving. And she was like, I wasn't driving that. I was driving an Armada, even though in the comment section, I corrected myself and was like, nah, it wasn't a Pathfinder. It was an Armada. And I did that a week before she responded. But um, <laughs> so she does that. She comes back and basically... Is like, no, I was right, Joe Biden, blah, blah, blah. Obviously doesn't do research, cites one headline. Um, then I responded to her by pointing out that, well, first of all, no, you're incorrect. Our, we don't get, she was pointing, talking about somewhere about where we get gas from and we get gas all the way from the Middle East. So that's why, and I pointed out, nope, our biggest oil and like gas trading partners and stuff are Canada and Venezuela and here. So we don't, we're not reliant on foreign oil or whatever. I basically just issued a factual like response to what she said. Um, and then she attacked me for being 16. Said, oh, I know you're 16 oh, and you can't drive yet, blah, blah, blah. I like, saw that video, yeah. I'm yeah. Sure. So I responded to that, basically gave her a factual thing why she's incorrect. And then she made a response video where she's lashing out and she's like, um, you support Joe Biden. He did the crime bill. Um, he wants to put you in chains and blah, 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 basically like impugning me for having what? the gall to, yeah. She literally said like, oh, uh, it's funny because you're supporting somebody who wants to put you in chains. Maybe you should, maybe you should go um, praise your daddy, Joe Biden. I'm sure he'd love to put you in handcuffs. Basically playing the fact that I was black in order to say, why are you supporting Joe Biden? Even though I don't. Uh, or why why are you proving me wrong right now because the person that you are standing for on a factual basis doesn't like black people or something like that. Oh my so I'm God. like So I'm like you have some audacity to say that about me because a bunch of people had started messaging me immediately after the video blew up on her and apparently she's like a very bad person and there was a video that I got now it was already on Twitter well before I addressed it of her saying the n word. Um, Mm. and like, apparently she's a super like rich, privileged, like white girl from Tennessee. And she like is super racist, which explains what, why her content is the way that it is. And when people immediately send me that, I was like, first of all, I want to make sure this is factually correct before I say anything about it. And second, I don't know if I necessarily want to say anything about it because I just made a video on her that got like something like 30 something million views. So I was like, okay, 
all right, I'll see what happens. Then she made all her response videos basically saying, oh, you're black and he wants to put you in chains and blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, so I'm like, so you're arguing as if I should be agreeing with you when you are literally over here saying the N word. And then I released the video of her saying the N word. Um, and immediately afterwards, she goes, uh, she goes silent. She doesn't respond. Then she goes, I will address the situation if you give me 10,000 likes on this video. What? And I was like, what do you mean if you get 10,000? What are we talking about here? <laughs> so I'm, so she's like, oh, if you give me 10,000 likes, I'll address the situation. And then I'm like, okay, so you definitely, because like eventually, at first she said she didn't do it. That was the first thing she came out and said. She and did then some, she moved the goalpost to, if you guys give me enough likes, I'll admit. Dude, that's, yeah. that is insane. That more, you know, she, James Charles, uh, all these people that are getting canceled need to mm -hmm. like take a note from her and be like, yo, let me monetize my fan base one last time. Let uh -huh. me say, yo, you guys want me to apologize? Okay, 10 million views on this next vlog. <laughs> uh, you know, 100,000 likes, and I got you. I will apologize for that bullshit I did. What, dude? It was what kind of logic is that? Exactly, and then I blasted it for it. I was like, so you said you didn't do it, so you're saying that I'm lying on you, but somebody who's being lied on would not go and say, I will get. I will address the situation if you give me ten thousand likes. You'd be trying to adamantly prove that this wasn't you who said this. So she does that, and then apparently people brought me screenshots where she was in other people's comment section who made like videos on the situation. Um, sorry, my mom's here. Um, <laughs> uh, who made videos on the situation, basically saying, "Oh, uh, keep keep uh, fanning the flame, or whatever," because I get paid from the creator fund every time someone watches my video. So. She's like, doesn't care about what I just exposed her for. It's simultaneously saying she didn't do it, but while also not trying to prove that she didn't do it. Yeah, saying so, she doesn't, saying I didn't do it, and then you say, no, you did do it. Well, I don't care that I did it. I'm still getting paid. <laughs> How are you then going to say in the next sentence again, well, no, actually, I didn't do it. Wait, which mm -hmm. one is it, dog? You got to choose one or the other. It's not that you either didn't do it or you don't care. You can't have both. Yeah. Like, yeah, it, it, it was it, it was super incoherent. She, she tries to say that, oh, um... I'm lying on her because look at the look at the quality of the video. You guys are believing some 16 year old with this terrible 240p quality video of me saying the n word. So then I was like, okay, bet. Then I hit up the person who recorded her, um, who originally posted the video, and then he was like, yeah, no, she does that. And then she he sent me the original copy of the video, which I then put in a response or whatever. Um, where I was like, okay, you're saying I'm lying on you. How did I get the original copy of the video from the person who literally recorded you saying it? Um, oh, that's a tough and, look. <laughs> yeah, and then um, she threatened to sue me. <laughs> what What were her grounds that she was trying to – what did she say? Because I'm always curious. I, I know there's a big thing going on with that new main guy right now, if you've seen any of uh -huh. that shit. He, he, this guy, like, steals a bunch of people's content, wasn't oh, tagging man. anybody, and then somebody made a video making fun of him for it, and then he was like – me and my team are gonna sue like some on some like mob boss shit had no right like no grounds to sue them on but just yep. wanted to sound hard and and i'm always confused when people do that i had a scare when i was early on in doing this show um like maybe 40 or 50 episodes in and someone did that to me and i was so scared because i didn't know anything but they just did the same thing they just yeah bullshit like oh i'm gonna sue you it's like oh, yeah how are you it gonna was, do that when garrett had originally threatened to sue me i got a little scared because i didn't really know much but when rebecca did it i was like okay i've been through this before she basically was like oh you had malice intent in your videos and you're getting people to send me death threats or whatever um so we're gonna sue you for it and it was funny because I was trying to post my part two and part three response to like end the whole thing, but TikTok wouldn't let them go up. So I deleted it and I put it all in one IGTV video on my Instagram. And in that video, I say in clear words with text on the screen that I put from TikTok, do not send her death threats. If you do, I do not condone it and I will block you. So mm -hmm. if your argument in the court is he had malice intent, he had malicious intent and wanted people to send me death threats. You probably shouldn't look at the piece of evidence where he literally said, don't do that. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, she basically was just mad and was like, oh, you're trying to ruin my life. So blah, 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 threatened to sue me. Then I was like, I don't care what I'm saying is factually right. So you can try to sue me. She never did get back to me about mm -hmm. suing me. She never messaged me again <laughs> after I proved that everything was real. And uh -huh. then... um. Then she falsely reported my account and said that I was trying to get people to give her death threats. And I'm assuming because she's a verified content creator, TikTok immediately responded to me and they gave me a week-long ban. Um, and then 
a week later, I came back because she was in the comment section of her video saying, because someone said, oh, so you admit that you did it then? Because she basically posted a video where she's like, you know the meme where people would like go running and like there'll be something on the screen and then like Halo would be playing in the background. Mm -hmm. And they're like, oh, everywhere I'm looking at. And they're like running or whatever. It's like, oh, when you when you realize that you didn't do your homework or something like that. And then yeah. they're like running in slow motion. She did one of those on a beach where she's like, when you realize you and... um. Who's that country singer that said the N-word? Oh, my God. Morgan Wallen. Yeah. When yeah. She did that, and she was like, when you realize you and Morgan Wallen aren't so different after all. And she's running in slow motion. She deleted the video now, but oh she's running in God. slow motion. Yeah, blatantly admitting that she did it. And then people are in the comments are like, so you, so you did it, right? And then she liked the comment where someone was saying, so you admit it. So I screenshotted that and I put that in the background of my video a week later after the band and I'm just dancing. I didn't even say anything to it about it. I just danced to the music in the background. And then TikTok immediately banned me for another week. What the um, fuck? What? What, yep. dude? What and, is this? What is this yep. like super villain? This is like out of a like a, a racist comic book, dude. This is like <laughs> a fake. You're like a weirdo fake villain that like you're. Why are you? The video is cringy enough, dude, but then you're going to like the... It's just, wow, dude, that's like yeah. a true... I don't know like, these people, but they just sound like terrible. Like, straight up admitting it. Then she reported my account and got me banned for now two weeks. Um, The most thing that she got after this whole situation happened was they took a creator fund away. And they didn't stop pushing her content. She immediately started getting viral videos again. So they took she's the creator still verified, fund away. right? Oh, uh, yeah, she's still verified. That's what I thought. Um, th so they banned me for a week. Then they banned me for another week. And then they kept giving me week-long bans, like, every single day for the next, like, two, three weeks. Couldn't do anything about it. I was emailing them. They were like, oh, apparently there's a glitch in our system. And then they'd fix it. And then I'd post one video and immediately get banned again. Um, and I don't think I could post again until, like, March something or, yeah, like, March something. Um, oh. Actually, yeah, yeah. And then I posted for a little bit, maybe a week towards the end of March. And then they banned my account. Um, permanently deleted it. And then they, it was gone for about two days. And then I messaged TikTok or whatever. I emailed them and a bunch, and R Victoria helped me. And then I got my account back. So because I proved the girl wrong with gas prices and then <laughs> outed her for being a racist because she tried to impute me for supporting Joe Biden and having the gall to prove her wrong, um, I got my account banned on multiple occasions, got threatened with a lawsuit, and got my account even permanently deleted before they gave it back to me on my birthday, which is April 8th. Um, well, that's, a, that's a dope birthday it, present, at least. Then. Yeah, <laughs> at least you got I was a, yeah, I was happy with that. And then what she got was a slap on the wrist, your creator fund is gone. And she probably got it back. So, wow. yeah, so it shows you how TikTok really treats that situation. But that was a crazy crazy situation and it's funny how these people who are older than me mind you who are supposed to be oh you're you're not as knowledgeable because you're young can't handle when i when i call you out for something and she's like in college like yeah it's like it reminds it's like so i played college basketball and and mm -hmm. we play i played a lot of pickup as well it's like that fucking kid that would show up to the park with they ha like you, you just show up to play and you're playing and some kids suck he's the worst player out mm -hmm. there and it's whatever and then he gets his ass beat or she gets her ass beat. And then they're like, you know what? I'm taking the ball. I'm leaving. That's mm -hmm. literally what that is. Like, okay, <laughs> I, I lost to JJ in this debate. I'm going to quit now. I'm going to – or I, not even. She's still making – she was making jokes about it. But mm -hmm. uh, while simultaneously block trying to get you banned on the low. Like, you're not mm -hmm. hard, bro. Like, you're afraid, you're afraid of the smoke while simultaneously trying to pretend like you're – I don't know. Again, I don't know her. I just – I researched her a little in trying to preparation for this because i want to have a little bit of context um yeah. i'm just we... happy because the the original video i made on her has like something like two like 20 30 million views then the video that like one of the videos in the situation we had is like over two million then the igtv video where i exposed like like trying to end the thing has like eighty eight thousand views on instagram so at least Jeez. people know that she's a terrible person <laughs> <laughs> at least people know that i'll take that that's crazy, man. It's just that's a roller coaster of a situation. We have the original, we have the video, so you know what it sounds like. I apologize that you won't be able to hear the sound.
judging based off that door handle, the rear fender and window shape, and the back tire, which, you know, has a Nissan logo on it. I'm going to assume that this is a 2006 Nissan Pathfinder. That same Pathfinder carrying about 24 gallons of gas, which is well above the average larger car, and getting a combined 19 and a half miles per gallon, which is pretty average for SUVs. Do the math on that, that's about $3 per gallon, which is high. This video was posted on January 31st, so unless you can show me a policy that Biden implemented 11 days into his presidency that spiked gas prices prices to some unprecedented number that you've never seen before, you're not paying $70 because of Biden. You're paying $70 because your car guzzles gas like a fucking sinkhole. Like she, she goes, she goes, this is Joe Biden's fault. And then you go here. It's not Joe Biden's fault. Let me show you exactly why. And then she goes, I hate you. Why are you? She goes, I hate you. You're black. Why are you supporting this racist white guy? And then she called, she continues to be like, displaying racist behavior and it's like and in some way you're in the wrong and she thinks that she was going to be able to sue you again yeah. i don't know this girl if she's in college i hope she's i mean she's probably cheating on everything so it's like <laughs> man just please please you know focus do a little studying rebecca um yeah. this is that's that's a little absurd I, I is that what her content was she like is she like mostly that, political or is it yeah, like it, it's okay. all trump it's all trump cult stuff like trump 2024 um like yeah it's it's all just playing into that when i see a liberal like ugh, like that type that's that's the extent to her content that's the best her content's gonna get wow. that video that she posted is probably the best video she ever made that video had like five million views when i made a video on it and then mine blew her out of the water so yeah. like you th that would, her. that's hilarious yeah that's the peak of her content just standing in front of a gas pump saying thanks joe biden because that's what republicans want to hear at this point that's the same thing yeah. with like the thanks obama thing that happened yeah, yeah, it's the same. It's the same deal. Thanks for watching that last video, guys. Click right over here to see the episode in its entirety. Or click over here to subscribe and check out all the other cool shit we have on the channel. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Do it.